It's April 19, 2018. And um, here's a couple interesting units from the past. These are General Radio 1164 coherent frequency synthesizers. These were built, this particular unit, um, back in the 60s. The earliest um, that I can find that they were made, they were in the uh, 1966 General Radio catalog. And I have two units here. This one is not working. This one is somewhat working. I've got some problems with it though. I have to try to repair and um, the way these work is this unit will generate frequencies from 10 kilohertz to 70 megahertz and you adjust the frequency by these decade knobs and as you can see here the first decade will set your tens of megahertz followed by 1 megahertz, 100 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, 1 kilohertz, 100 hertz, 10 hertz and then on the right side what's called a CAD is a con continuously adjustable decade and that is a uh, variable frequency and the way this works is this row of buttons here if you push a button for example if I push this one in the uh, the 1K uh, decade, this will disconnect this decade and all of the decades to the right, not including the CAD. And then what happens is the CAD will control the frequency of this decade and all of the ones to the right here. So in other words, if I push the 1 kilohertz button here, the CAD will control up to 1 kilohertz. If I push the 10 kilohertz, this will go from 1 to 10 kilohertz, etc., up to 100 kilohertz. It's got a um, monitor switch here. You can measure the output voltage. This will have an output of 0 to 2 volts, which is continuously adjustable. It has these, these uh, GR874. I don't like these connectors, so I modify them for BNC or N, whichever. Um, Output is 50 ohms. It's leveled. Um, in the CAD position here, if you disconnect a group of decades, in other words, if I push the 1 kilohertz decade here and remove these, then the CAD can be adjusted to the frequency of the unused decades. And, and this meter here acts as a frequency meter and as you adjust the CAD and it approaches the frequencies of the, un of the disconnected decades this will measure frequency and it will drop down until your zero beat it goes to zero and at the end of the adjustment you can actually see the beats uh, as they beat between the the internal reference and the decade. Um, that frequency is also on these two binding posts here it has a, a frequency standard in it. It's, a, it's not as accurate as a, an ovenized oscillator, but it's a 5 megahertz uh, crystal controlled time base. You can um, add an external time base if you like. This is the module of the internal oscillator. And you have the ability here to inject where it says lock signal in you can inject an external frequency standard here and what I intend to do with this when I get it operating is um, drive it with an external frequency standard probably my either my GPS or rubidium standard which are 10 megahertz but I can divide them in half and run them into this and then this thing will be pretty accurate The, uh, the whole system is modular. Here's, a, here's one of the decade units. And they connect to the mainframe here. There's banana jacks that mate with banana 
female connectors on the bottom so you can insert a decade like this and then there's there's uh, illuminated lamps in here that show you which decades are connected and then of course the knob will fit on the front so I'm going to power this up and try to figure out what's wrong with it and um, see if we can get some some output from these things well so far on this unit I found what may be part of my problem here there's um these mechanical switches here as you push the different buttons you can see these switches are make and break contacts to the decade units and I found that some of these were corroded they appear to be gold plated I'm not sure if that's correct or gold color but I cleaned the contacts and we'll see how it works I had to remove the um, I had to remove the input mixer here or I'm sorry the output mixer to get access to that. It's quite easy to work on these. Um, these plates, cover plates are removed allowing um, access to those. The um, Here's a power supply. I'll probably check that out. It seems to be alright. Um, the power supplies, here's another one here from the other unit. They're actually modularized also and they make contact to the mainframe through these banana plugs here. The unit runs off of 18 volts or you can operate it off of uh, 28 volts. Okay here's an interesting shot. I got this unit working here. Um, right now I'm generating 10 megacycles and you can see on the scope you can see the output and on the frequency counter you can see the output it's uh, fairly close I need to adjust this oscillator of the time base here but anyway here's a 20 megahertz generated signal it's off by a not very much, 19.99999, close. Here's 30, we're off by a couple cycles. 40, 50, let's try 51 cycles. How about? all ones pretty close and like I say uh, once we adjust the time base we can get some better accuracy here okay this is interesting I have 10.00099 megahertz dialed in on the digits I'm not looking at the output I'm looking at the zero beat output so now when I lock out the last two digits I've connected the continuously adjustable output and you can see the beat frequency on the frequency counter and you can see it on the scope now as I vary the the CAD the last one on the right here you'll see the frequency decrease as I'm approaching zero beat frequencies lowering on the counter and the see it on the scope and it's approaching uh, it's not it's kinda hard to trigger here on this but as you can see the frequency is dropping almost to zero and the meter on the calibration meter down here is even is dropping two so I'll go back up meters all the way to the right we're at a higher frequency but a little over five kilohertz and as I approach the frequency and that would be the frequency that the last two locked out digits would be 
frequencies lowering the, the frequencies are almost on each other here and then well let's see went past it right about a little bit of jitter in there well that's pretty close here's a project for this thing that it's going to increase its accuracy this is an HP crystal oven oscillator assembly this puts out a 5 megahertz signal and I can feed that in to the input in the back of the uh, onboard uh, frequency reference and I can lock it to this 5 megahertz crystal ovenized crystal oscillator and then the output of this thing should be right on the money so anyway that's it for this one and hopefully we can get this one working this one needs a little work to it um, here you can see the the main board here and all the banana plugs sticking up that connect the different modules pretty pretty heavy unit general radio made some pretty strong stuff back in the days so this will be a nice addition to the lineup here anyway that's it for today see you next time signing off